All right, so I just got back from a week-long family vacation in Niagara Falls, and I gotta say, the timing could not be more perfect because Dokkan Now Volume 7 just dropped a few hours ago, and it revealed a bunch of information about the upcoming Saiyan Day celebration on both Global and JP. So, in this video, we are going to be breaking down everything that was revealed in this program, especially as it pertains to the new Super Saiyan God Goku and uh, Extremes the Awakening for LR Beerus and Whis. So, yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start here with a quick intro from our amazing global producer, uh, Koto, who says that Saiyan Day is around the corner. It's starting on uh, March 18th, 318, just like every single year. And the reason it's March 18th is because these numbers in Japanese spell out Saiyan. So yeah, March 18th, about three days from now. And the theme for this year's Saiyan Day celebration is going to be, uh, let's see, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, which should not come as a surprise to anybody at this point, but it is Battle of Gods themed. Uh, we'll be getting some new missions, which give a grand total of 50 Dragon Stones throughout the celebration, which is not like crazy, honestly, but it's still above average. So yeah, 50 stones from missions. We're also going to be getting 12 Dragon Stones for the first login because 3 plus 1 plus 8 is 12. Obviously, 318 stones would have been better, but I'll take the 12 stones. And uh, there's going to be a new stage of infinite Dragon Ball history. Uh, obviously, Battle of Gods themed. There's going to be 7 stages or seven phases, rather, and the final boss is going to be Whis, and uh, just like the other stages, it's going to be 23 Dragon Stones for completing all the missions for this new stage. And after that, she talked about a new uh, burst mode, the third ever burst mode, and this one's going to be for the uh, Beerus Dokkan event. So, Look forward to a new burst mode. Uh, she goes over how the event actually works, but if you guys have done the other burst modes, then it's essentially the exact same thing. So yeah, burst mode for Beerus Dokkan event. And now we have one of the uh, highlights of the video, the Extreme Z Awakening details for LR Beerus and Whis. So here we go. Uh, these are the categories which don't change, so we can skip through that. And then we have the leader skill, which is going to be super STR types, keep plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, extreme STR types, keep plus 3, and attack and defense, sorry, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Pretty standard. Now for the passive, uh, it's going to be keep plus 7, attack and defense plus 150% medium chance of performing a critical hit, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70%, and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for 7 turns after receiving an attack. Launches an additional super attack if HP is 70% or less when attacking up to once per turn. So that is the passive. And then we have the super attack, or rather the uh, 12 key super attack, raises attack and defense for 1 turn, causes colossal damage, and recovers 10% HP. The 18 key super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and recovers 15% HP. And I believe that is everything there's to know about this Extreme Z Awakening. So overall, I am, I wanna say fairly pleased with how the details turned out. Um, it's kind of hard to say exactly how good he's gonna be just, you know, on paper, right? But uh, I think that it's going to be a bitterly impressive Extreme Z Awakening. I think he's going to hit super, super hard. Um, defensively, uh, you know, it's going to be a slot 2 unit most likely, just because they are relying on, uh, first of all, getting a hit first to get the additional attack and defense, and then of course you want to uh, you know, get the additional supers to build up defense with the super attacks as well, right? So I don't think they're going to be that great defensively uh, in slot 1, but after they super a couple times, I think they will be 
pretty decent defensively and offensively, I do think. Uh, they're going to be putting out a lot of damage. So um, you couple that with the, the healing from the 12 and 18 key supers. I mean, 15% HP re uh, recovery is, is no joke, you know, especially if you're getting the 18 key and then also the 12 key after that. That's going to be 25%. If you get another additional super, that's going to be... Um, 35% I mean they can heal you a ton within a certain turn right like yeah if, if you if you factor that in um, I think the extremes the awakening actually is looking really good uh, I've been hearing some mixed responses to these details I personally feel like it's 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 good enough I, I personally feel like it's good enough so yeah I, I'm not a hundred percent sure how I'm gonna feel about it you know in a couple of days or uh, Hold on, actually it's gonna be available on the 23rd, so in about a week from now, right? So I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it once we get the actual uh, in-game release and I get to, you know, use them in-game, but for now, I'm I'm pretty pleased, I'd say. I'm pretty satisfied. So that is the Beerus and Whis Extreme Z Awakening. From there, we got uh, all of the Godku stuff, which I'll actually show you guys in a separate video um, on their Twitter, so we can skip through that for now. There is the SSR art for the God Coup. There is the TUR art. Uh, we also have the details, which, uh, like I said, I'll go through in a separate section. Uh, she goes through a little bingo game here, which uh, eventually gave us, I believe, 18 dragon stones that we'll all be getting in our boxes soon. So yeah, 18 stones. We're getting another seven stones for a retweet and shares campaign, um, so we'll definitely get that as well, some hashtags, and uh, that brings us to the, oh, oh, also five more stones for just watching the program, so uh, basically a good amount of stones on the way, guys, a good amount of stones for free, uh, look forward to that, appearing in your boxes soon, and uh, thank you, shout out to Koto for the Dokkan Now program, now let's jump over to the official Dokkan Twitter page, where I will be showing you guys the animations for the new God Coup and also the new Rage Vegeta, which is the side banner unit. So let me just throw on some earbuds here. And <sighs> enjoy, guys. Dare you hit my bomber? This is a Super Saiyan God. I never knew this level of power existed. Okay, so um, full context, right? I, I did watch these before I started recording because I just couldn't resist, honestly. Um, so it, it's not like I'm giving you my full uh, initial reaction, I guess, but 
This was just the second time I've seen the animations. I love Vegeta's animations. I mean, I think this is like one of the best Vegeta moments ever. Obviously, it's not like the best Vegeta moment, but it is one of my personal favorite Vegeta moments ever. Uh, so I love these animations for Vegeta, even as a side unit. And then Godku, I mean, what is... This? What else is there to say, man? Godku looks glorious. Uh, this, this, this intro animation um, is beautiful, and then all the other animations are are are, are top tier as well. Um, yeah, they just killed it with this Godku. You know, at, at first I was like, I mean, I feel like we've like seen a lot of good. Or at least solid Super Saiyan God Goku animations in the game. Uh, not really sure where they can really improve or where they can go uh, with it, but I mean, I should have never doubted the animation team over at Dokkan because, or Bandai, or Akatsuki, I guess. Anyways, the Dokkan people. I should have never doubted them because they always find a way to impress us, and uh, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm really, really impressed, and I. I just love it, man. I just love these animations. Uh, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. So I'm gonna let this play out one more time. I'm gonna let you guys watch this final Kamehameha, and then we'll move on to the uh, details for the Super Saiyan God Goku and the Vegeta as well. So there you go, those are the animations. Now let's take a look at the Super Saiyan God Goku himself. Uh, fighter entrusted with the allies' wishes, or with allies' wishes, Super Saiyan God Goku. Uh, leader skill, let me just zoom in here real quick. Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans, category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 170%, plus an additional uh, HP, attack, and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Power of Wishes or Exploding Rage category. This is an insane leader skill. This is basically... Um, the LR Super Saiyan God Goku leader skill on droids, you know, like it's just it, it's what I was expecting. This is what I predicted, but just to see it actually confirmed is crazy. This is <laughs> a crazy, crazy leader skill, guys. Um, from there, let's talk about the passive. So, uh, method chosen by Goku activates the entrance animation once only and attack plus 100% when performing a super attack and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, phase excluded, to phase key spheres for six turns from start of turn when there are six or more super class allies on the team at start of character's attacking turn. So, obviously, to get the most out of this character, you will be running a uh, full super team, essentially. Uh, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50%. When attacking, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50%, and chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 30%, with 3 or more key spheres obtained. So this now brings the dodge chance to uh, 60% and then uh, launches an additional super attack and guards all attacks with six or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack plus 50%, starting from the turn in which the character performs the fourth super attack in battle. This guy is gonna be doing so much damage, guys. He's gonna be doing so, so much damage. Uh, defensively, he's looking good because of the essentially 60% chance to dodge with uh, three key spheres and then uh, you also get the guaranteed guard with six now six key spheres seems like a lot but he is an orb changer uh, although he does lose that after six turns i believe but if you bring another orb changer with him which i would recommend then he's just gonna be going off i mean he's gonna be <laughs> he he's he's pretty crazy uh he's pretty crazy and if you thought uh you know like maybe the passive is good but like he doesn't seem that Ray. He doesn't seem that broken. Uh, let me let me let me show you something else. Let me show you something else uh, before we get to this part here. Let's talk about the super attack effect. Super attack effect raises attack and defense and causes immense damage. He's a stacker. He is an infinite stacker for attack and defense, which is just beautiful. It's just glorious. I love that. 
So, um, yeah, he's going to be building attack and defense with every super attack. He's going to be supering multiple times a turn. So that's going to be building up quickly. Um, yeah, that's just awesome. And then we have uh, the links. Let's talk about the links. Very, very good links, guys. Uh, we have a Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, Warrior Gods, Godly Power, Over in a Flash, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Th these are, I mean, this is the perfect link set for Super Saiyan God Goku, so I love that as well. And then we have his active skill. Uh, Saiyan who absorbed the power of the god, or of god, can be activated starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle if the character performs four or more super attacks in battle once only, not hard to achieve. Uh, causes ultimate damage, performs a critical hit, and transforms. So what he transforms into is this dude right here, the Super Saiyan Goku. So you go from Super Saiyan God Goku to Super Saiyan Goku. And uh, leader skill, of course, stays the same. Uh, everything else stays the same. Here's a quick look at the categories. I'm not going to read all of them just because there's so many. But uh, he fits in a lot of teams, as you can tell. Now for the passive of this Super Saiyan Goku performs a critical hit for three turns from start of turn and attacks effective against all types starting from the fourth turn. Q plus two, attack and defense plus 159%, plus an additional attack and, uh, attack and defense plus 100% when attacking. Great chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks before attacking. Launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. So. Upon first glance, uh, his passive seems kind of basic, and you might think, yo, is he like worse than Super Saiyan God Goku? In some ways, I would say yes, because he doesn't stack attack and defense anymore on his uh, super attack. It's just raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning, and that's still good, but it's not infinitely stacking, right? But by the time you transform into Super Saiyan uh, Goku, you would have already stacked a good amount with the Super Saiyan God Goku, right? And I would say that offensively, uh, this dude is going to be more consistently putting out damage uh, than the Super Saiyan God Goku. That's kind of the, at least, feeling that I get from reading the passive. Uh, defensively, he's not going to be as consistent, um, although he does have a 70% chance to dodge now before attacking. So uh, in slot one, you'll feel much safer about, you know, his uh, ability to not take damage i guess right and once again by this point he should have a lot of defense just from the stacking of the super saiyan god goku and uh he's gonna be putting out i mean guaranteed crits for three turns and then uh, still attacks effective against all types from the fourth turn right so yeah he's gonna be hitting very hard i think at least that's how i feel once again this is on paper we don't know anything for sure but i think he's gonna be hitting very hard and uh, his defense should be more than good enough at this point. So it's not really as much of a concern as it might seem like on paper here. Um, but yeah, I mean, of course, you have the option to just not transform these Super Saiyan God Goku. You can definitely leave, definitely leave him as uh, Godku instead of going Super Saiyan. Um, I think it's going to be dependent on the situation. And uh, it's totally fine to just like not use the Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, form right if you don't want to so you have your options there um, Oh links do change we go to golden warrior experienced fighter super saiyan shocking speed kamehameha prepare for battle and Fierce battle so that is the super saiyan god goku um, Slash super saiyan goku, I guess uh, as a whole. I think this unit is absolutely uh, Amazing <laughs> I think it's I mean, easily a top TUR in the game. If not number one, then top three for sure. Uh, maybe number one, actually. I, I, I'm not ready to commit to that yet. It, it's, it's early, it's too early, but definitely top three, no question. And uh, let's quickly talk about this Rage Vegeta as well, because I love his design. I love his animations and he's just a monster. So. Leader skill is Exploding Rage Category, key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, Passive, key plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 200%, Guards all attacks for 5 turns from start of turn, plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 40%, which uh, with each attack received up to 200%, all allies Attack and Defense plus 30%, self-excluded, 
and all enemies attack minus 20% for two turns after the character receives an attack three or more times in battle once only. So just a massive, massive attack and defense boost here. The support is amazing. Um, yeah, so that's looking good. And this is before the transformation, of course. Uh, Lynx, our Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Prodigy, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prepare, uh, prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. And uh, the transformation is can be activated starting from the fifth turn from start of battle if the character receives an attack six or more times in battle. Six or more times in battle once only. And you transform into the Rage Vegeta or. Um, hold on one sec. So it starts as Super Saiyan Vegeta, and you go into Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. So you transform into Super Saiyan 4, uh, where did I get Super Saiyan 4 from? Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Uh, now, as the Super Saiyan Vegeta, you raise attack for one turn and cause supreme damage with a super attack. Okay, so now moving on to the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. This passive is... Uh, it's just wild. Now, let me just quickly find uh, some new music for this video because I realized that I'm going a little bit long and I don't want the music to just cut out. So I'm gonna just add uh, the LR Mirza Masu theme to my playlist here. Okay, there we go, we're good. All right, so passive, attack and defense plus 100%, high chance of performing a critical hit and launches an additional attack it has a high chance of becoming a super attack for 3 turns from start of turn. Key plus 3, attack and defense plus 200% plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack. Guard all attacks plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% and launches an additional attack. That has a high chance of becoming a super attack when performing a super attack and chance of performing a critical hit plus 20% if there is a movie boss's category enemy. Okay. So he's just wild. I mean, as a side unit, as a non Dokkan Vest unit, he might be like the best non Dokkan Vest banner unit we've ever seen. Um, I don't know, there's just a lot going on, man. He's getting such a massive attack and defense boost. Um, you know, additional supers, uh, you know, high crit chance. Uh, he just, he does doing a lot. He's doing a lot. So this Vegeta is looking amazing. Um, obviously no counters. That would have been nice to see, but hey, it's okay. It's okay. We got the Extreme Z Awakening for the STR Rage Vegeta coming soon. So he's got us covered with the counters. This guy uh, is just going to be a beast um, in every other respect, you know? So uh, I'm excited for this Vegeta, man. I, I definitely want this Vegeta. Uh, if I can, if I can pull him, obviously I want the God Koo more, but I definitely want this Vegeta as well. So, um, yeah, that is the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, uh, super attack effect, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack. So, there you have it. That is, that is the video for today, guys. We went through all of the... Dokkan Now stuff, we went through all the details for the God Coup, the LR Beerus and Whis Extremes the Awakening, and the uh, Rage Vegeta as well. Um, yo, let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this stuff. Uh, I'm just in love with the animations, man. I just, I'm getting distracted. Uh, yeah, about, let me know about the animations, what you think about them, what you think about the details for the characters, what you think about just Saiyan Day as a whole. Are you guys excited? What are you the most excited for? And uh, thank you so much for watching, you know, um, that's all I got to say for now. Obviously, a lot of content coming for, uh, you know, Godku summons, uh, new event runs, uh, possibly some streams. It's been a while since we've done those, but definitely want to get back to those. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. The music did stop. What the heck? I swear I added the Zamasu theme. Okay, now it's playing. Um, yeah, like the damn video, sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, 
awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.